Hello, my name is Jonathan Aranjo, and I'm here today to talk to you about the negative side effects of steroids in sports. Steroids are popular in many major league sports, but it can even go down to college athletes and even high school athletes, believe it or not. In major league sports, steroids has been a big influence on the reason why college and high school athletes have been using it. Kids always try to look to be the better, be better at what they play, it, whether it's basketball, football, hockey, baseball, anything. As, as long as there's players in major league sports using steroids, there will probably always be a student or an athlete taking steroids as well. Some, at, some major league athletes that have been caught using steroids include Barry Bonds, Alex Rodriguez, Andy Pettit, and Jose Consenco. Now I know you noticed, but steroids are very big in Major League Baseball, more than any other sport. I myself have had an encounter with steroids. My best friend, who I've known since I was young, began using steroids when I was in high school. He did it so he can better himself in his athletic abilities. He was a football player. He used, he used steroids to gain an advantage on the whole team, and it was actually working for him. However, this was only for the short-term effects, and he was not aware of the long-term effects. He was better, he was faster, stronger, top of his game, no doubt. But all of a sudden, things started to change. He began getting very aggressive, and he, he even began having suicidal thoughts. He was very paranoid at, at everything he was doing. His physical features even changed. He, t he would tell me he had a lot of acne on his back, as well as on his face. Steroids is very bad to use, and what happened next was terrible. He began becoming very aggressive with everybody, including teachers and students, as well as even with me. His teachers quickly noticed a difference in him. He was a smart kid. All of a sudden, he began doing bad in school and bad grades and, and, and everything. He didn't even care. He began even having suicidal thoughts at one point, and that's when I knew that he, I really needed to get him help. First I sat down with him and talked to him, and that wasn't working that well. So then I told his parents, and what his parents did was call a helpline to help him out. He, he began going there, and for the first time it worked for a little bit, and then he started using steroids again. And then the next time he, he began doing it again, the same effects began, be, began occurring. So his parents had sent him there again, and this time it was actually working. And it worked for a lot longer than the first time. The first time it only lasted for about maybe a month. The second time it was a good six, seven months in. And after that, he just said, forget it. He wanted to be better than everyone else anyway. So he just began using it and using it and using it. And all of a sudden, he began having high blood pressure, heart complications, and even enlargement of the heart. He, beca he became very ill and was sent to the hospital. They had surgery done on him. and. Thank God he was all right. Nothing bad has happened to him. Now he's fine. It's been a few years later, maybe two, or, I want to say two and a half years. He's been off steroids and he's actually doing fine. I'm happy to have seen him made it, but there are, there are other people who have not made it. Steroids is very bad to use, and no matter what, nobody should ever use it.